Hi, I'm Hannah, and today we're talking about groups. At Spark Learn, we're all about personalized learning content, but sometimes multiple users need to receive the same training. That's where groups come in. Groups are used to deliver content to people who have things in common. For example, I might be a part of the design team group because of my job role, and I also might be a part of the hybrid workers group because I work at home and in the office. Let's see what this looks like in the app. The Groups tab is another way to view the groups you are a part of, as well as browse other groups that you can join. Groups that any learner can search for or join are known as public groups. There are also private groups, controlled by a content manager, that don't appear in the list of groups to join. An example of a private group may be a group set up for company leadership that contains sensitive information general employees might not have or need access to. The visibility of a group can be changed by a content manager in the CMS. Content managers can also add new content to a group and even automate conditions in which a new member is added, such as any time a learner has completed a certain course or based on how long they've been working at your company. Groups are a powerful tool for learners and content managers alike, and I hope this video helps you understand how to use them. For more information, you can visit our website, and please like and subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye.